Now, at, what's the board look like itself? Well, these boards can be held in courtrooms. They can be held in conference rooms. I've done them kind of all over the place. And again, they'll appoint these board members. There's going to be three officers. Now, we're speaking specifically to BOIs or show cause boards, not enlisted separation boards. They're similar, but there are some differences to it. But you're going to have three officers which outrank you. The government's going to be able to make an opening statement. The government's going to be able to call witnesses and present evidence. And they can call fact witnesses. They can call members from your chain of command to say the impact on good order and discipline or the impact on the service or the command or that you were a terrible officer. Whatever it happens to be, the government can call witnesses, either fact witnesses or witnesses in aggravation. And they can do that till, you know, all day long. If they want to call one or if they want to call 30, they're going to put on whatever case they're going to put on. But the beauty of that is at these boards, we have a right to cross-examine them. And while the rules of evidence don't apply, which is actually good for us because there's less rules and restrictions on us, especially if you're experienced, you can go in and cross-examine these individuals. And it's like a mini trial, but without the rules of evidence. So it goes from an organized game to street ball, so to speak, because we can take a lot more liberties with how we're doing the cross-examination. We can get a lot more aggressive than we potentially can if there's a military judge sitting over there watching us. And we can go into the kit bag a little bit more than we might not otherwise. And so these boards, we have a right to cross-examine all of the witnesses. So if they say that you committed an offense, they say you were sexually harassing other officers or you committed some type of sexual misconduct or that you, whatever they accuse you of doing, they're going to have to call witnesses to prove it unless they just put in a report of investigation. If they're just putting in paper, you're probably going to win, you know, because board members simply want to see more than just paper. So that is a huge benefit to going to a board, having a lawyer who knows what the hell they're doing and be able to give an opening statement and cross-examine witnesses and give a closing argument. Now, we also have the opportunity to call witnesses as well. And in these boards, which are very different than trials, we routinely call witnesses. So in a court martial or criminal trial where the burden's completely on the government to prove your you know, guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, in these BOIs, we're almost always going to call witnesses. We're going to call members of your chain of command who are going to go to bat for you to say that you're an outstanding officer. We're going to call members from your prior chain of command. We're going to call fellow officers, uh, enlisted service members, anyone that you worked with, have worked for, that are going to say that you're outstanding, that they know about the misconduct, either they don't believe in it, um, or even the misconduct or the allegations of misconduct uh, notwithstanding, they're going to recommend retention in the military service. Also, we have the ability to put on a case. And so if there is misconduct that was alleged that you did not commit, we will have most of this laid out in the GOMA rebuttal letters that we drafted. Now it's time to put those from paper into the courtroom, so to speak, and we can call witnesses, yeah, there's a lot of things that we can do to be able to show that you did not commit this misconduct. And if the committee general took five minutes to read our 40 page rebuttal matters, or if you wrote them yourself and they didn't get read, you're sure as hell going to get an audience because the board members are there. They're going to be engaged. They're going to want to make the right decision. And so they want to hear your side of the story. They want to hear us present the case. Um, I've seen that over and over because you're not going to have three senior officers willy nilly kick out you know, another officer without damn good reason for it. So they are going to be engaged and listen uh, and be off has very, you know, not responsive, but be very open or receptive to our case. Now, in addition, you have the right to testify at these boards. If you've been notified of an administrative separation board or a BOI, I want you to understand that you can absolutely fight this. Regardless of whether your GOMAR was permanently filed or you're previously found guilty at NJP or Article 15, if you have a right to a board, Get in front of these board members and fight. You can win these cases at a board. We do this routinely. If you want to have a conversation about how to do that, give me a call. 813-669-3500 or look at the information we have on our website, www.belecularlawgroup.com.